What is the magic of the mirror and why witches love it so much? Let Erica's art explain that all, so strap in for a dark but fascinating explanation about What is this witchcraft? Thinking of magic mirrors we all can almost hear the iconic phrase magic mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all. This is supposedly a tale about eternal beauty and vanity chased by bad witches, who do not want to let go of their youth. Or is it? This magic of mirror came all the way from ancient Egypt. Ancient Egyptians believed that a person is followed by his Ka, spirit twin. Ka was considered to be an exact reflection of a person. That is why mirror is such powerful tool to see our twin, our spirit. That is the superstition. But could it be grounded in reality in some way? Psychologists Carl Rogers and Abraham Maslow claim that differently from all other animals, which do not recognize their own reflection in the mirror as themselves, people from young age develop a dual understanding of themselves. Mirrors provide us the opportunity to see us as observed from a side. But not only do we see our physical body as it appears at the moment, we also see ourselves as somebody, who we strive to be emotionally. Think about how you prepare for the ball, you wear your best makeup, dress and hair and think of your reflection as representation of you. However, the next morning you wake up having hangover, dark circles under your eyes and messy hair. Oh, I don't look like myself you say and go fix yourself. But physically you do in fact look like yourself in given circumstance. Only the reflection of the last night is like a better person with your face on, who you must imitate and become. By fixing ourselves to look a certain way, to be a more pleasant version of ourselves, we create this better looking, more successful spiritual twin, the example, which we all strive to be. This better twin, who exists only in our minds, follows us all our lives, and we feed him even more. Think about all the social media and filters to make your twin even more beautiful and fun. The new movies caught on this psychological phenomenon. Think of the difference between movies Mirror, Mirror, and Snow White and the Huntsman, both released in 2012. The first movie shows the queen as powerful, but calculating and vain. Clementiana and her twin Mirror Queen want to get rid of the Snow White, who is her virginal and younger competitor. As Mirror Queen is vanquished, Clementiana becomes an old vengeful crone. The second, more successful movie is focused more on its villain. Ravenna's village was rampaged and she was kidnapped by the enemy king to become his abducted bride. Ravenna charmed her husband with her beauty and killed him gaining his power. The queen's magic mirror is not for vanity. Ravenna sees her reflection as an immortal, almighty ruler. The existence of the magic mirror itself is in question, no one else sees who Ravenna is talking to, the mirror exists only in her mind. Ravenna wants to become that perfect reflection, and for that she detracts the life force of others, bathing in milk while her peasants starve outside, or magically, by sucking youth from surrounding young women. The mirror tells Ravenna to take a pure and innocent heart in order to live forever. Ravenna understands that literally, as a goal to cut out Snow White's heart and consume it. However, this is not what the mirror actually told her. It told her to have a pure heart, if she wanted to become ruler who's remembered forever. Ravenna's inability to understand that her reflection twin demands her to become good was her undoing. Erica's paintings are devoted to seeing yourself in the mirror of wishes. Seeing your own reflection as successful, brave, but also wise and kind. Her paintings are coated with affirmations and incantations which symbolize the fulfillment of those wishes. Women can see themselves in the mirror and think about what their reflection truly represents. It not only shows you who you are, but also reveals how you wish to see yourself in the future, your powerful dreams and goals. More about the magic of mirrors in art and media will be revealed to you in part 2 of this video. Remember to watch, subscribe and share what you've learned with others. Look at your reflection as a better version of you.